What is going on, everybody? Aaron Bennett here. Very exciting to wake up this morning and see the price of CRO up 16.5%. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are like, oh, shoot, I should have bought more. Like there's FOMO with CRO. And I want to cover, did we hit the bottom? Do I think it's going to go down still? But first, I want to go over some of the latest stories with Crypto.com. So the first story is the Europe card program migration is complete. So there have been a lot of issues with just how quickly or basically how slowly people are receiving their cards. So PayerNet selected as Crypto.com's Europe card issuer. It says, Crypto.com is pleased to announce that we have successfully completed the migration of our Europe card program to PayerNet. All cards are operational. There is no action required from our customers. So what I'm hoping is going to happen is people are going to get their cards really fast. Just like I got my card in the United States, I got my Indigo card in about three weeks from start to finish. Uh, this was back, I believe, in, in August of this year. And there have been people that have been waiting months to get their card. So I'm hoping for the European market, this solves that problem. The next story is the DeFi swap is now integrated with the Crypto.com DeFi wallet. So this is just allowing you to use the DeFi wallet to connect to the DeFi swap. Just another way they are making things kind of more in-house. So you don't need to say go to to MetaMask to lock up your stake or to participate in the DeFi swap. Crypto.com is excited to introduce a built-in swap function in the Crypto.com DeFi wallet app using the DeFi swap protocol. With the swap function integrated in the DeFi wallet, users can exchange tokens directly on the DeFi wallet app. This integration greatly improves the mobile swap experience, allowing users to connect their DeFi wallet to the DeFi swap without having to use Wallet Connect. The built-in swap function on the DeFi wallet will support swap pairs in ETH, CRO, DAI, and many other ERC-20 tokens. To access the pool and boost function, users must connect their wallet to the DeFi swap protocol via the Wallet Connect to add liquidity and stake CRO to harvest CRO. CRO yields. So right now you no longer have to use the wallet connect. You can use the DeFi wallet. So whether or not you're doing this or not, guys, I think it's great that they're doing this. They're bringing everything more in-house. So you don't need to leave the CRO world of apps. You can just do everything within this ecosphere. The next story, margin trading launches in private beta on the crypto.com exchange. It says users can access up to 3x leverage for Bitcoin USDT with more trading pairs to come. The private beta is live for selected users starting today, November 19th. Margin trading allows users to amplify their trading profits through borrowed funds, both during up and down market movements. CRO coin powers margin trading with additional utility, offering preferential interest rates as low as 0.008% per day to users who stake CRO. And there's a video here about how to set up your margin trading account, a video on how to use your margin and trading account. So this feature will be gradually rolled out to all the exchange users in the coming weeks and in all markets where the exchange is available. So unfortunately, not where I live in the United States. Hopefully that will change soon though. So this story technically came out yesterday and it's hard to know when it came out because they do these by dates in like Hong Kong time. So this big story came out yesterday and now you see the price go up a lot because this is giving people another reason to stake more CRO so they can get lower fees. The next story, Wallet Connect and MetaMask are now integrated with Crypto.com Pay. So what's cool about this is the merchants that are accepting CRO Pay to check out like Ledger and BC Wallet and Unstoppable Domains, a lot of these places. Now, when you check out and pay with Crypto.com Pay, it also accepts CRO payments via MetaMask and Wallet Connect. And this is my MetaMask wallet right here. I keep a little bit on here. Usually I just use this for trading. But if I scroll down, you can see that I have $217 USD of CRO here. So what happens is if I check out with crypto.com pay, I can actually use this 217 bucks in my MetaMask to pay. 
Crypto.com Pay users are also entitled to pay rewards and can earn up to 5% cash back for purchases when they stake CRO. Crypto.com Pay merchants can now accept crypto payments from over 30 million users globally and receive the payment instantly in the fiat currency or cryptocurrency of their choice. So merchants pay zero transaction fees and only half a percent payout fees, saving up to 80% when compared to traditional payment processors. That is true. Most payment processors are taking 3% or so. It's crazy. So for merchants, Crypto.com Pay is a real contender. And I think this is something that could really propel Crypto.com to a new level. And I got to say, Crypto.com Pay is really easy to use. I've used it a lot. I've used it on unstoppable domains all the time to purchase domains. Link below if you want a domain there. I think this is something that can propel this company to much higher levels, especially as more people come on board into crypto. And the last story, very exciting. Crypto.com Visa card is finally shipping to Canada. So today, Crypto.com announced that Canadians can apply for its Crypto.com Visa cards, which will begin shipping to Canada in January. So you can reserve a card in the app, which is a three-minute process that includes ID verification. You will be notified when your card is ready to ship and check on its issuing status in the app. So that is awesome. I've had so many comments and questions asking, when will Canadians get their card? And now we know it will begin shipping to Canada in January. So awesome, very exciting there. So now looking at why the price of CRO has gone up quite a bit over the last 24 hours, I think, again, it has to do with these latest stories. It has to do with one, they're saying that Canada is going to get their card. So people are most likely staking the required CRO to get their card. Canadians, go ahead and stake your whatever, how much CRO you want to get the card that you want. I always suggest the Indigo or Jade, the 25,000 CRO card, which right now that card is around $1,900 worth of CRO to stake. And the good thing about the Indigo or Jade card is you're earning interest every single week. You are earning on that CRO. With the Ruby card, which is $190, dollars so freaking cheap you don't earn any rewards on that CRO but with the indigo jade or above you do get paid every single week in CRO for staking that amount of CRO so Canadians are staking their CRO to get the card plus Margin trading is launching in the exchange. So people are getting ready. People are getting ready to be like, okay, well, I'm going to be staking more CRO because I want less fees for this exchange. I want less fees for this margin trading. Right here, it says CRO is going to lower interest rates as low as 0.008% per day who stake CRO. I have a little bit of FOMO because I was thinking the price is going to go down to four or five cents. It still could, but with bullish news like this, and I think this is very important important for a lot of you haters out there who think crypto.com is just going to go down the toilet. With news like this, with news that things are happening, Canada, Europe is going to get their cards, new things with the DeFi swap, margin trading, new integrations for crypto.com pay, people are still like, okay, this company still has legs. This company is not just going down in a free fall. And you can see here over the last seven days, we are up 7.1%. Yes, over the last 30 days, we are down 27.7%. But guys, that really doesn't matter that much. I mean, remember what happened with Link. Link broke $20 or really close to 20 bucks, $19.11 here. And then very quickly, it dropped out to $7. So that is a larger drop than I believe crypto.com has done in terms of percentages, or it's, it's not that far off. And nobody's saying that, oh, Link is a scam. And yes, I know there are differences, I understand, but just looking at how much a coin has dropped is not a reflection of whether this company is a scam. And I think we're seeing that today with the price going up 16%. So remember guys, that if you're getting the 25,000 CRO card or above, you are going to get weekly rewards for that CRO. So right now I got grandfathered in because I already had the 10,000 CRO card. That's the same as the 25,000 CRO card. So right here, I have the Indigo. It's the 25,000 CRO card getting 3% back everywhere and free Netflix and free Spotify. This is really the card that I think everybody should get if they can. And for one big reason, for right now, I'm getting 16% a year in interest 
on this 10,000 CRO. Now, I believe it's going to go down if you do the stake now. I actually have to verify that, but you still are going to get, I believe, 8 or 10%. So this 30 CRO is 16% a year of this 10,000 CRO. It's very, very cool. So every single week, you are going to be earning if you get either these 25,000 CRO cards or above if you can afford them. But I think everybody should aim for getting this 25,000 CRO card. And you can use my code Aaron, A-A-R-O-N, if you have not yet pulled the trigger on one of these cards. I do think, especially today, looking at the price jump up 16%, this company is not dead. This company is here to stay. I really do believe that. So guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate you all. Till next time, talk to you soon and bye for now.